Hey, what's going on, Nerf Nation? Welcome back to the CJ Nerf channel. You know, I finally got in my garage organized to the point where I could actually find most of my modding stuff. So I decided to jump right back in with both feet. So today I'm bringing you a first mod and custom paint job that I've done in quite some time. And I'm really excited about it because I absolutely love the way um, this paint job came out. And it was the very first time I ever tried this technique. And I'm blown away with the results. So I will definitely be doing this technique once again. Um, so today, get ready to see the transformation of the Zombie Strike Long Shot into one of my best paint job creations I've ever done to this point in my young YouTube modding career. Right, let's do the review here. High, 105. Low, 85. Average, 97 feet per second. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it, and let's wrap things up with my Nerf long shot mod and custom fade paint job. I actually really, really like the way that this came out, and this is easily, I think, my favorite paint job that I have actually done to this point in my uh, YouTube career. I actually love the way the paint flowed. It really looks smooth in the transition. If you guys would like to see a tutorial on how I did this, now this by no means means I'm a professional at this. It just means I had success and I'd like to share how I did it. So if you guys want to attempt it, you're more than welcome to. 
So just go ahead and leave me a comment saying you'd like to see that video, and I'll, maybe I'll go ahead and make it in the future. A uh, couple things I just want to point out real fast is I always paint the inside of my blasters before I do the outside, and I had the metal trigger assembly from the Stage 2 Orange Mod Work Kit in here, and I had this thing uh, lubed up pretty well with lithium grease, but because of the fact that the inside was painted, this trigger didn't perform as well as I would have liked. There was a lot of sticking issues, and it just wasn't as smooth as I would have hoped. So I took this back out and I put the orange one back in and now it is just performing like a dream. As you saw from the chrono test, we're averaging around, I don't remember, but it's like 97 feet per second and the paint job is just really, really nice. The other thing I wanna know, yes, I do have some scratches right here from priming the blaster and I knew that was gonna happen. I just wish I would've took more pictures before I actually did this to do the chrono testing because I actually put some scratches in the paint. But that was to be expected. Maybe next time I'll go ahead and get the underneath a mod kit from Worker so I can prime it a different way and I may do that for a future video. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and like, dislike, whatever you want to do. And uh, if this is your first time to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you on my channel. It would be great. So thanks again, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have a great day, everybody. Keep shooting, keep modding, nerf it up.